Eric Chernak joins us now from Washington, D.C. Eric, your reaction to this win, how were you guys able to get this done, especially under the pressure at the end? You had a couple of major penalty kills, and then you're able to counter with the game winner. Yeah, I feel uh, since the start of the game, we were playing really good hockey. Uh, we know we're playing good, and uh, we just had to continue playing the same way. Uh, they had a couple power plays by end of the third period and also in overtime, but we killed it, and then uh, uh, Stammer got us the uh, winning goal, so that was amazing. Eric, what does it do for the confidence of this team uh, being able to come back from behind on the road against a good Washington team, win like this in overtime? What does it do for the confidence of your team moving forward? Yeah, obviously, Washington, they had a really good team, really good uh, skilled players, you know. They're working hard, so obviously that was an easy game. But uh, uh, how I say, uh, we kept playing the same way. We knew we were playing really good hockey, and uh, uh, we got the re reward because of that. And you were shorthanded with the defensive court tonight in the third and into overtime because Jan Ruda was unable to play in that uh, third period. And yet, with the different combinations, how did you guys make that work? Yeah, it's always harder when uh, one of the defensemen uh, got, uh, got injured. Obviously, we weren't happy because because Ruth uh, got injured during the game. But uh, I think we are working really hard uh, with the short shifts and. Uh, Everything worked really well for us. Eric, thank you so much. Congratulations on the sweep on this two-game road trip, and we'll see you Tuesday night. You know, we pretty much played most of that game with five defensemen. You know, Mac left for quite some time because he got, uh, you know, cut in the eye, and then and then Roos left. So it was a uh, pretty uh, gutty effort by that decor back there. Uh, but like I said, it's, it's not hit any panic buttons yet. Let's see what the uh, evaluation is when we get back. And, Go from there. We only have, I think, two games next week, so it's probably a good time for you know, a little bit of a lighter schedule. Do you know anything about Ruda? Or? No, like I said, I, I don't know anything yet. How are the four on three overtime penalty kills different than a regular five on five or five on four one? Uh, well, it's just, the, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not being sarcastic saying less guys in the ice, but less guys in the ice opens it up a little bit. Um, it's just there's more room to defend. There's more seams, so you have to you have to play it differently. I, I think that you know, scoring on a four and three rate is, is higher than you know than a five on four, and so it's. Uh, and that's a tough kill, especially the weapons they have over there, so that makes it even harder. Um, like I said, you need your goalie to be your best PKR, and guys were laying out blocking shots and getting the clears when we needed them, and uh, it, was, it was clearly the, probably the turning point for us. I know he didn't play a lot. What do you think of Boris? And his, his I know it was tough, and you know, especially with all the guys that went down. It, it's... Uh, the shifts he gave us were great. I mean, it wasn't a ton, but it, you know, first first game, it's probably doesn't even remember it. But it was uh, it was gutty. He was on the right side of pucks. He won puck battles and made some plays. It was good for him.